welcome, John. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Jackie. Very much. Why did you agree to do this web interview? Um, I was really compelled to want to do something different. Um, I was so happy with the service. Instead of sending you just a thank you card, I wanted to put myself out and come visit you to let specifically people in the States know what a great service you offer. So you found the service to be of real value? Excellent service. How did you feel right from the beginning about the booking experience with Upland Africa? Um, really good. You know, when I first started this, um, looking at the safari, I had decided to do a web search. Because um, who knows where to start? You know, here I am living in the United States, um, in Connecticut at the time. Type in uh, on Google, African safaris, um, I came across your company name. And after I came across your company name, um, I had sent a request to be contacted uh, for a holiday. And within two hours, I had already received a response from your company. That was a pretty impressive sign to me. What a great start. What brought you to thinking about a safari holiday as your next, your next trip to take? Um, friends of mine, I do a lot of traveling for work, and some friends of mine said to me, because uh, I, you know, I always go to Arizona or I go to Hawaii. That was my like a little bricks. And they said, why don't you do something different? And I said, well, what are you thinking? And they said, why don't you go to safari? And it just stayed in the back of my brain. And I thought, what a great idea. But it took me some time to come to that conclusion. How did you feel about it, the feel about the idea of a safari? How did that make you feel? Um, pretty happy and pretty scared. <laughs> there were times where I thought this is a great idea um, and I was really excited about it. I was nervous, I'm a big guy, so I was nervous about the physical activity. And then I was also really nervous about being in the wild. And in particular, lions. I, I was worried, well, what happens with lions? Because, you know, to me, lions aren't like little pussy cats. They're pretty dangerous. So that was a fear I had. How did you overcome those fears? Um, your director, uh, John, he was, um, John absolutely walked me through what takes place in the camps, how the camps are run, um, the safetyness of the camps, what to expect. Um, and, you know, he talked to me about young people that have been on the, camp, on the trips and older people have been on the trips. So he removed any of my fears. Did you have any other concerns before you travelled? Um, not so much that I had concerns about the, before I travelled. Uh, the only other concern I had was I was making a financial contribution to an unknown company. Um, and so that was the only fear I really had initially, not now of course, but initially, is I was doing a financial transaction with a company in the UK that I didn't know. Um, had no idea um, about them other than their web presence, uh, which is a normal fear to have. And what gave you reassurance to continue? A lot. Um, again, John helped an awful lot. Um, and what I also did is I talked to my bank, my financial institution. They talked to John's financial institution. Once I realized that John's banking was sound, my bank was happy with their bank, uh, any concerns I had about sending money out to, to the, and to avoid disappeared completely. And turning to the trip, what did you think of the trip that they put together for you? It was uh, incredible. Um, speechless. I, I'll never forget this trip. Um, it allowed me to relax, it allowed me to explore. Um, it was breathtaking and it was just r remarkable. Is there anything that you particularly wanted to do or see during the trip that you didn't get the opportunity to see? Is there anything you missed? Not a thing. Um, you know, I, I had decided I really wanted to see lions, I wanted to see uh, cheetahs, and I wanted to see leopards. Um, I was told seeing a leopard is really hard, almost impossible sometimes. Uh, I had the luxury of being able to see it more than once. The cheetahs um, were amazing. We followed cheetahs one day for like three to five hours. And it, that was incredible. And the lions, well, the lions, I, I was so close to lions that I could literally lean over my vehicle and touch them. That's how close they were. I saw everything. I didn't miss anything. It was, uh, it was a wonderful experience. Is there anything else that particularly sticks out in your mind from the trip that was so special? Um, two things. The people. The African people are by far the most humble people I've ever met in my life, in particular in Botswana. Um, they have no finances very poor, but they walked through the world as everything was perfect without anything to worry about. That was a, a life-changing event for me personally. 
And then the second was the sunsets. The sunsets were just amazing. And you couldn't wait till the evening to have your sun down or to watch the sun come down because it was just an experience. So you feel the trip was what you expected? More than what I expected. Um, you know, again, Opulent Africa goes out of its way to really make this trip special. And they do things behind the scenes you never even know about until afterwards. But it was an amazing trip worth every penny I invested in it and I enjoyed it thoroughly. And since your first trip, have you made others? Yeah, I've been back again two more times through your organization. I had so much confidence I gave you my business more than once. Um, and each trip has been basically the same because I'm a creature of habit, but I've done a few extra things each time, added one extra place, but it's been most enjoyable all three times. Thank you very much for agreeing to do this interview and for sharing your experiences with us. Thank you so much and thank you for the trip of a lifetime. I appreciate it.